Well, as the news was getting out about the young inmates in Angola being moved, protesters were at the governor's mansion to advocate that move to get them out of Angola. That's right. NBC Local 33's Whitney Thomas joins us in studio with more on this story. Whitney? It's been back and forth battle between the state and those advocating to get the youth inmates removed from the Angola complex, but their fight wasn't in vain. Given the history of this country, black children should have never, ever, ever been locked in cages on a former plantation. Judge Shelley Dick ordered the state to remove the minors from Angola. Shortly after, a temporary hold from federal appeals court allowed the state to keep the kids at Angola. Us knowing that the, that the uh, appeal was happening, we knew we had to get boost to the ground again across the state. And that they did. Protesters from the families and friends of Louisiana's incarcerated children say it's been an uphill battle, but worth the fight. We are calling Governor Edwards to abandon this reprehensible behavior and instead invest in holistic model of care. As protesters were speaking, the Office of Juvenile Justice released a statement saying that the youth were removed from Angola grounds. They'll be placed at a juvenile center in Jackson Parish. Their reaction. When we got here, we all like, we in spirits, but you know, we, we like, we trying to build morale because like, again, we know our kids have been traumatized. So to hear that news in real time, but it would have always been worth it. But to get that news while we were all together, I think had a big impact. OJJ officials said that they would ensure the youths are getting rehabilitation care in Jackson Parish. One of the ACLU's and FFLISC's biggest concerns. If you think um, we won't keep showing up, you got you got us misunderstood. We'll show up in front of the governor's mansion like we did today. The OJJ disagrees with the U.S. District Court's ruling and plans to continue with the recent appeal set in motion. In studio, Whitney Thomas, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Whitney, thank you so much for that reporting.